What's going on, silencers? Cass here, and today we're taking a look at uh, a game that I completely forgot was in my library. This is 100 Days Winemaking Simulator. I don't know anything about this uh, game, so we're going to jump right into it. And if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. And thank you very much to my patrons who gave me this vineyard. But without any further ado, Let's get into it. We're just going to do story mode because uh, it'll give us direction, I guess. And uh, and we'll go from there. Ooh! When you are happy with your placement and ready to move on, click on the button on the right corner to proceed to the next day. Cool. Uh, check inbox. Boring company. We'll do that. And we can't actually put that down. Okay. So we do that and that. Boring company one and two. We'll press and hold space bar to go to the next day. I have no idea what this game is like about other than booze. So we'll do that. Space bar. Some activities have a special result. Press the flashing orange button to view it. My uh, dearest Emma, I doubt you remember me. My name is Beppe and I am an enologist. Winemaking has ruled my life as a tyrant, devouring any free time I had until I have reached the end of my journey, still chasing the perfect wine. There is a long list of winemakers who would be happy to inherit my lands. But this time, I will rebel against what is logical or due. While we need to treasure our tradition, we also need to make room for innovative solutions, newcomers to fill our ranks. I want you to run my business and become a winemaker. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Your vineyards await. Okay, cool. I guess I have 100 days to die. I mean, make wine. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm your next door neighbor. Hi, nice to meet. It's great to finally meet you and put a face to a name. I've heard so much about you from the old man. Oh, have you? Yes, I will tell you everything about it. Don't worry, but all in due time. I just thought it would be nice to introduce myself and greet you, so here I am. Oh, yes, very kind of you. You must be exhausted. How was your journey? Yes, I'm actually a bit tired. The flight was delayed and kind of packed, you know? Oh, girl, I can imagine that. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, okay? Anything at all. About that, how do I run this place? The letter wasn't particularly clear on the matter. Whoa, that's a big question. But you're in luck. The old man has left some instructions for you to follow, but he was a bit worried you'd feel overwhelmed reading everything in one go. I'll pass his notes to you one by one when the time feels right. He has entrusted me with this task, and I shall oblige. Overwhelmed is the word. So, more handwritten notes and letters, you say? I gather he wasn't particularly tech-savvy. Not really. He belonged to another generation. Other times, other means of communication. But you'll be fine, don't worry. Back to your question. You should really give... Tio a call. He'll help you run this place. Tio, okay. Do you know him? Yes, nice guy, tall, strong arm, big hands. He's the youngest son of the old lady who runs the bakery in town. Wonderful loaves of bread, white bread, granary bread, you name it. They have it, not to mention the cakes. On Sunday morning, the smell of cakes that permeates the entire street. Promise me you'll try those cakes. Oh, and... Tio, how do I find him? Oh dear, I'm doing it again. I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm such a blabbermouth sometimes. Shut the fuck up, woman. I'm such a blabbermouth sometimes. <laughs> right, Tio. Uh, it's really simple. Just ring him up. He'll be here in no time. Great. Thanks, Anna. No worries at all. Now I'll leave you be. I have a Manny Petty booked at my favorite nail spa, and it can't possibly be late, you know? Unpack, settle down, get familiar with the place, and... And... Breathe in. Can you smell it? Smell what? Oh, dear. You really don't have a clue, do you? Smell that air, girl. Fill your lungs with it. Absorb it. Welcome to Langney. L Langy? Make yourself at home. So, a hundred days was how long it took that conversation to be over, right? 
All right, here's Tio. Howdy. Hello, are you Tio? That would be me, yes. Great, we spoke on the phone yesterday. I really need your help. I'm happy to help. Truth is, I was waiting for your call. You know the old man has instructed us all. Well, that kind of sounds ominous. Aha, nonsense. It just shows how much he cared for you and for his lands. So I've heard, but I've never met the man. I have no idea what kind of person he was. I can't help but feeling that he's left me sitting on a wasteland. Um, I almost missed the office. Come on, you don't really mean that. I'm happy to be proven wrong. I'm happy to be proved wrong. So how does this winemaking thing work? That question is perhaps too vague. I'll be honest, I have no idea when it comes to gardening. I named my last houseplant Dodo because of extinction, because extinction is the ultimate fate of all my plants, doomed to perish the instant I buy them. Not even a succulent. They are hard to kill, you know. Nada. No green fingers whatsoever. No cute artisanal ceramic vases. Not even a fancy terrarium with tiny green creatures growing inside. Not for me, sadly. You know, if you ever feel like fixing this, I have a distant cousin who is a florist in town. I know. Do you? How could you possibly know that? Uh, I guess. Anna told you. Bingo. She told me a bunch of things about you, but I digress. So what are the basics of this winemaking thing? I have no chance without your wisdom. Agreed. So? Oh, you mean right now? I see. Okay. Uh, let's start from something easy and fundamental like weeding. Is it about... I'll stop you right there. It isn't. Weeding is about preserving the moisture of the soil by reducing the competition for the mineral nutrients required by vines to grow. Clear enough? Clear as mud, dude. In short, death to the weeds, long live the vines. That's a bizarre way of putting it, but in a nutshell... Great, now to just pretend those weeds are my house plant, and it'll work like a charm. This is a tutorial message, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Weeding. I'm assuming. Okay. So move on to day two. I guess. Ooh. Brico. Sand, clay, loam. Ooh, I know about that. Inspect grapes. Treatments. I got nothing. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Crop thinning. That went well. Do you think so? Was my weeding up to your standards? I'd say it was amazing. That is so exterminate. I'm good at this. So what's next? Uh, yes, let's proceed. Now you can learn the fine arm art of crop thinning. Crops on a diet? I have a feeling this is going to be quite a ride. Baby steps. Basically, you have to remove some of the flowers and or grape clusters on the grapevine. Wait, what? Why would I ever do that? Uh, if you could just let me finish, as I was saying, the procedure is used to achieve yield and quality goals, and it will allow you to modify the vine balance. A waste of resources that happens by design. Am I getting this right? You are. It sounds counterintuitive. I'll give you that. People thought growers were completely nuts when they first started the practice of this technique. A priest from a nearby parish was summoned to the vineyards to talk some sense into them, save their souls from the blasphemous act of wasting perfectly good grape clusters. So you are not the first one to stare in horror. I have to sacrifice some flowers and grape clusters for the benefit of those that are left. Correct. It's all about the yield. Are you familiar with the concept? The yield is the measure of the amount of grapes or wine that is produced per unit surface of vineyard. Wait, let me write this down. It makes no sense, but it will later on. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Crop thinning. So... What do I do with this? Okay, so it still doesn't really let me do anything with that. Okay, next day. Your business has three different buildings that can handle different sides of wine production. Click to access them and handle their functionalities. Uh, okay, the warehouse. Ooh. Warehouse is used to store bottles ready to sell. Here you can build new rooms to handle marketing. Warehouse levels determine the amount of orders you can fill, uh, fulfill every turn. Um, okay. Winery. In the cellar, you can find all the tools and rooms you need to make 
uh, to work on must such as tanks barrels and presses tools are the one required for most card activities and they can get dirty or broken okay where the fuck's the other one tool shed in the tool shed you can find all vineyard machinery and rooms to maintenance them some tractors and tools will decrease turn number for specific activities okay next day hey i got rico that wasn't bad too bad was it yeah i guess i'm starting to get the gist of this new life in the vineyard so now what harvest we need some help with that oh there's no harvest 101 with tio this time not this time we can start harvesting together but you'll need to hire an onologist to complete this task it's the most complex and delicate activity you'll ever perform in the vineyard there's no room for mistakes hey thank you very much no pressure huh you're gonna get you're gonna be fine relax just call Gianni. he's the best in the area will do good let's get moving Okay, um, guess we're going on to tomorrow. Oh, wait. Whoops, I was supposed to put that down. You are late. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah, sorry, I ran into Anna on the way here. You should really avoid any distractions. Winemaking is an activity that requires an undivided attention and commitment. If you are not ready to devote your time to the vineyards, you will fail, and most importantly, your vines will perish. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I catch you on a bad day? I am merely stating facts. So why am I here? Tio told me to hire you. We've started harvesting, but we need your help to complete the task. I hear you've recently moved here from London. With no understanding nor interest in winemaking business, in the winemaking business, you basically know nothing about this, don't you? Whoa, you don't mince words, huh? Are you really sure you want to help me? I promised the old man I'd help you with the first harvest. I can always, and I always keep my word. I can see that you've made a start at it, which is fascinating to me since you have no idea what you're doing. Now, hurry up. I'd like to be done before the season is over. Well, in that case, how about less complaining and more harvesting? My thoughts exactly. So harvest, as you may guess, is the process by which wine grapes are picked. You can do this by hand or mechanically. This is going to take a while. Yes, it's a long and tiring process. And yes, you have to endure this every year. It's also my favorite bit of the most rewarding experience of an onologist. So, please don't spoil it. You really woke up on the wrong side of the bed, huh? Let's go. You're as slow as a sloth. Keep moving, or we'll never get to the cellar. Is something waiting for us in the cellar? Just your future as a wine winemaker. No rush at all. Um. I, I, I don't exactly understand... I don't get it. Whatever. Next day. There's not much playing in this game. I've put shit in this little s square right here and nothing happens. So. New season winter. Sweet Jesus. Click on this. In this panel, you can see the harvest result. Now we can move to transform the grapes and select the tanks you would like to use. Vinify grapes. Great. Okay. Fiberglass tank. Uh, quantity 665.1 gallons. Quantity stored in tank. Okay. Confirm. Some activities require a larger board. You can increase the side of your board through the technology panel. Where the McFuck is the technology panel? Yo? Yes? I've been reading some books about winemaking. The old man has left me tons filled with notes, weird diagrams, old photos. That's good. Yes, but I still can't wrap my head around a few things. That's fine. It's a lot to take in. Like this pruning thing. How do I do that? Oh, pruning. You really have been studying, haven't you? The answer is simple. It's too early to do that. How so? Well, first of all, we prune the vines. Well, first of all, we prune the vines in the winter. Then let's just say as you that you need far more than just a few books to understand how to do that. But don't worry, I can help you. Unbelievable, you survived your first harvest. I appreciate the sarcasm. No sarcasm this time. I'm honestly blown away by the fact that you're still here. You're not getting rid of me of that easily. So what's next? Crushing. Crushing? Yes, crushing. The crushing realization that you still have a long road ahead of you, and I've run out of sunflower seeds. So it was you. You left a trail of sunflower seed shells in the vineyards. 
Another incredible deduction. I wish you could spend more time playing Sherlock of the Vineyard, but we have work to do. Today we will crush the grapes. Okay, that sounds easy. Now, before you start smashing grapes like a brute, let me be clear. This is a gentle process. We are bursting the skins of the grapes to expose the inner solids. Are you still with me, London? Of course. All clear. Just a bit gory. Focus. We need to apply pressure to the grapes to allow the juices free access to the yeast, tannins, and characteristics of the skin. Whoa, you are really like using those fancy words, don't you? I am an enologist. My vocabulary is specific. Are you taking note? I won't repeat this. We will be... Com we will combine crushing with the de-stemming process. This is relatively straightforward. The stems are either removed from the grapes or left attached. It really depends on what the winemaker prefers. Questions? None at the moment. As you wish. Now go crush those grapes gently. Okay, there's that. And I can't prune because um, I don't have enough room for it. So... Uh, okay. Click the I button on the cards for more information about the activity. Shape turns variable conditions. Fermenting is a winemaking process that uses yeast to convert the sugars into alcohol. It's a necessary process in winemaking in order to make wine alcoholic. So, I do that. Fermentation consumes sugar to create alcohol. You can select the duration in yeast. Different yeasts give different flavors to wines. Hello again, London. Alas, we meet again. Indeed, I hope you're ready because today we'll cover one of the most complex parts of the winemaking process. I have dusted off my old notebooks for the occasion. I also have a whole bag of sunflower seeds to chew on whenever I feel overwhelmed by your incompetence. I am rubber, you are glue. Anyway, I'm ready. Open your spell book and let's summon some wine. Now, London, pay close attention. Do you remember what we've learned about crushing? Be gentle, burst the skin, release the sugary juice, and expose them to the yeast. I'm impressed. Well, fermentation is the next step. Yeast will not convert grape sugar will now convert grape sugars into alcohol. Sugar meets yeast, and bam, here is the wine. Not so fast, London, not so fast. Fermentation will affect the body sweetness, tannin, and acidity of your wine. Depending on the grape variety, there are different optimal values for each of these characteristics. Sure. Hey wait, are you reading from one of your old notebooks? I am. Don't interrupt me. As I was saying, sweetness and tannin are influenced by the duration of the fermenting process. Everything clear so far? Clear as mud. Surprisingly so. Look, uh, I am tired and I am running out of sunflower seeds. I'll make it easy for you. Let's say you are fermenting Barbara. Okay. Barbara. Sorry. A practical example would be helpful. Yes. Let me write this down. In that case, your optimal values would be tannins, 2 out of 10, sweetness, 2 out of 10. Now, feel free to give it a go, even if I highly doubt you'll get it right on your first attempt, given your non-existent experience on the basic equipment we have in the cellar. You should really add a few drops of optimism to your daily intake of sunflower seeds, you know? Okay, so getting tannins, 2 out of 10. And... So, so, yeah, that should be all we need, because the tannins are already 2 out of 10. The sweetness just needs to be brought down to 2 out of 10. We don't want to do anything to the tannins. So, I hate wine. Um, it's just, it's not my favorite drink. And I know about wine. I've had good wine. I've had really good wine. But, um, all right, it's raining. No biggie. I've lived in London long enough. Rain is an integral part of everyday existence. Well, in our case, it makes a huge difference. We have to stop. We can't work in the vineyard when it rains. Really that bad? I'm afraid so. I see in that case... I'll put on a kettle. I'll put a kettle on. Do you fancy a cuppa? A cup of tea? Sounds very exotic. Thank you. Uh, but a double espresso will do. So, can't work at all. If you press with a higher intensity, you'll get higher volume of must with a lower quality. Use the slider to select the desired intensity. So, you look tired. I'm not tired. I'm fermented. 
well, well, well. Is that your first attempt at a whinish pun? Blimey, you are taking this seriously. The sooner you accept that I'm here to stay, the better you'll feel. Trust me. So what's on today's menu? Pressing, which is the process whereby the juice is extracted from the grapes. Pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? That's it? Obviously not. Increase the press intensity and you'll get more wine. Decrease the press, in press intensity and your wine will be of a lot better quality. Are you writing this down? Increase for more quantity, decrease for better quality. Got it. Good. Remember the press intensity will also affect the value of the two characteristics, which are the body and tannin. If you're pressing Barbera, keep in mind that the optimal body value is 8 out of 10. Aye, aye. I'll give it a go and see what happens. You know, your generation is not particularly keen on reading, but you can also check the wine data to get the right balance. Should be easy enough, even for you. Thank you, jackass. Where I don't want to increase. So higher quality wine. We're supposed to get 8 out of 10. Well, for fuck's sake, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Gonna have to do something about that, I guess. Here you are. Here I am. You look tense. I am. Today we will start bottling the wine. This is the final stage of the winemaking process. The moment of truth. Once the bottles are sealed, there's nothing more we can do. It's out of our control. Are you really concerned about this? Of course. Always. Even more so, given you have no clue about the entire process. Bottling is irreversible. There's no turning back. Next time you see your wine, it will be in somebody's glass and they will be tasting it. Relax. It's my first wine. I have learned tons along the way. Whatever people say, it will be on me and not you. Nonsense. I am the onologist and your mentor. It's my responsibility. The only thing that makes me feel less helpless during this process is to make sure that the bottles are sparkling clean and the corks are of top quality. Good to know. Let's inspect the bottles. Make sure you have enough space in the warehouse for your bottle. Remember, some wine, some type of closures can give faults to the wine. Uh, okay, we'll do... We'll do a typical synthetic. And I want, yeah, deco heavy. We're going to do a green on it. The label is fine. And the label shape is going to be square. We're going to call this Barbera. We're just going to leave it at Barbera. Cost per bottle is that much. Number of bottles is that. Confirm. Sure, why the hell not? Okay. Machinery is subject to wear and can get dirty or broken. Each piece of machinery can be cleaned or repaired by accessing the building it belongs to. The use of dirty machinery can affect the quality of the wine. Great. Now what? Hey, girl. Long time no see. How are you doing? Hi, Anna. I've been buried in work. Apologies for ghosting you the other day. Gianni hates when I am late. Oh, so that's why you ran away so quickly. I thought you were avoiding me. Me avoiding you? No way. Phew. But tell me, how are you two getting along? Gianni is about... He's all about the wine. He doesn't mingle with us in town. He's so difficult to read. Tell me more. I'm afraid I don't have much to offer. The only thing I know is whenever he feels particularly stressed, he chews a ton of sunflower seeds and leaves a trail of shells behind. Ew. Right. Anyway, I just finished bottling our first wine. He seemed particularly concerned about this last phase. Let's hope everything goes smoothly. Oh, wow, that's great. Your very first bottle. I'll have to tell Satoshi. Satoshi? Don't you know him? Girl, have you ever left the house? You should really go out sometimes, you know? Gianni says I have to focus and avoid any distractions. Gianni says this, Gianni says that. I don't even know him, and he's already getting on my nerves. He'll do that. Forget Gianni, listen to me. Satoshi is the owner of the wine bar in town. He's a really nice guy. Go there, tell him I've sent you, and bring a bottle of your wine. He will want to taste it. I don't want to impose. Impose? Snap out of this imperial coldness, girl. Stop behaving like a guest. This is your land. These are your traditions. Own it. It's ironic, you know, as an expat, I felt I really felt like a guest. I felt like I was inhabiting a space that wasn't mine. Now that I'm home, I still feel and behave as a stranger. I'm stuck in limbo. Don't go all philosophical on me, girl. It scares me. Take a deep breath and enjoy an evening out at Satoshi's Wine Bar. Can you do this for me? Pretty please. Sure, sure. Thank you, Anna. Now leave me the hell alone so I can... can't do both at the same time. Is 
this go in here? Uh, I got nothing. I guess we just put this down here. And then this doesn't fit. Uh, oh, we can do that, I guess. Why the hell not? Okay, so what's this? The evaluation of the wine is expressed by a score. This value depends on the typicality of the wine and the quality of the grapes used. The flavors increase the score while the faults decrease it. Okay, so the body is shit. The tannins are shit. The acidity is shit. The typicity uh, is also shit. So we failed. Great. Wonderful. All right. That sucked. And I, I cannot. I have four new orders. Hi, welcome. <laughs> uh... I, I won't read it in Japanese right now. Hello, not really, sorry. I, it was a last minute thing. My neighbor Anna told me to. Oh, so it's you. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about your first steps into the winemaking business. Anna has filled me in on your adventures. She really is the unofficial news broadcaster in town, isn't she? Tune into Anna's radio and learn about what's new in the area. Well, she is, but she has a big heart. She only broadcasts positive things about people she cares about, but listen. Why don't you sit down at that table over there and tell me about your first wine? I'll be there in a second. Sure. Thank you. Meow. Nice to meet you, too, furry creature. Meow. You're so cute. Can I pet you? Is that OK with you? Meow. <sighs> Looks like you've met Beric. And judging from his rhythmic purring, the rhythmic purring sound I hear, I say he likes you. This feeling is mutual. I also like your wine bar. It's so cozy. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So let's talk about your first wine. Do you really have to do that? I'm not sure it's any good. Here you go. Uncork and taste it, if you dare. So. Come on, your silence is killing me. Is it dreadful? Oh, gosh, Gianni will be furious. I must have screwed up something. Maybe the fermenting process or the pressing. I must have pressed too much. Is the cork OK? Look, I know you've been studying hard, working hard and fully committed to the cause. But how do I say this? The wine is actually good, all things considered. Deep color, full body, low tannins. Well done. Uh, is it? Are you sure? I mean, I f you feel free to say it's rubbish if you don't like it. No, this is good, especially since it's your first wine. Anna was right. You do know what you're doing. Here is the menu. Order what you want. It's on the house to celebrate. Really? You're too kind. Thank you. And yes, Anna was right. I needed to leave the house and meet new people. I'm feeling so much better. Stay as long as you like. I have to go back to the other tables, but I definitely want to know more about your future plans. I will pay you a visit as soon as I can. And that's a promise. Okay. Now, where the hell is the technology tab? Is this the technology tab? Um, am I missing something? I have four new orders. Uh... Technologies. Hey, look, technologies. What the hell's this? This gives me a board upgrade. That one does chew. So buy that one. And treatments. Uh, preventative. Preventative treatments don't cure diseases. Use them to prevent the vineyard from becoming infected. Sure, we'll do that. No idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Carlo, Satoshi, who is she? Emma, a newcomer in the area. She's working with Gianni and Tio in the very same vineyard that once belonged to the old man. Fascinating. Is she any good? She's a beginner, but I've tasted her first wine, and believe me, it's kind of good. I may have eavesdropped a few bits of your conversation. As you always do, you sit there reading newspapers, cuddle Barrack, and spend your time listening to my clients' conversations. Now that I think about it, I might start charging you an extra fee for getting you in here. 
in my defense, I am a wine journalist and listening to what people think and say about wines or cellars is actually part of my job. Your wine bar is my favorite dispensary of local stories. I have a renowned appetite for these kind of tales, you know. I consume them voraciously. I know, I know. So do you think your story could become one of your pieces? It's too early to stay. I have to dig for more information. Get to know her better. See if there's more than meets the eye. The fact that she is working with Gianni is captivating to me. Here we go again, Gianni. Your own personal Moby Dick. How was the wine really? I salute your bravery in drinking it in front of her. Could it, I, it could have been a disaster. Can I taste it? Do you still have a glass of this precious ambrosia? You're in luck, I do. Do you feel like you are in the right mood to taste it now? Indulge me and please leave me alone. I have to think this through. <coughs> of course you can stay, Beric. Sorry for the sound effects. I'm sure it bothers people. I have one new order. Uh, yeah, we'll sell you one singular bottle of wine. My vineyards. Can I have other vineyards? How many? I have 2,100 bottles left. Jesus. Um, so that's protected. Inspect the grapes. I don't know what the hell any of that has to do with anything. So next day. Mm, Satoshi, what a pleasant surprise. Hi, Emma. How are things? All good. Thank you. What brings you here? Look, I know we're not well acquainted, but after you left my wine bar last night, I kept thinking about your situation. I've experienced the same issues. Being an outsider, the newcomer to the area. Oh, yeah. The alien in town. That's me. You're doing something extreme, Emma. You haven't just opened a new wine bar like I did. You are becoming a winemaker. This is huge. Many people have your eyes on these lands. I've had their eyes on these lands for a long time, you know, and the fact that a rookie is now going above and beyond to make proper wine is driving them nuts. Honestly, I don't know what to do about it. I'm not a quitter. I know, and I respect you for this reason. I've also decided that I want to help you with your business. I want to be your client. I want to buy all your wine. It's not much, I know, but it's all I can do at this moment. I am happy to publicly support you. Are you joking? This, this means the world to me. Team Outsiders for the win. Are you sure this won't damage your business? I mean, I do appreciate your enthusiasm, but my wines are far from perfect. Leave it to me. Don't worry about it. You do you, and I'll take care of the rest. Satoshi, thank you. It's fine. One more thing. A friend of mine would like to interview you. His name is Carlo, and he's a wine journalist. Would that be okay with you? Whoa, seriously? Not sure I have anything interesting to share besides something like Total Noob moves to Lang to run a winery with zero knowledge. I'm probably saying that wrong. Langi? I don't know. I'm sure Gianni would agree with that heading. That article would actually be very interesting. It could be a real eye-opener. Anyway, Carlo will be in touch. Now, I'll leave you with the vineyards. Think, I think Gianni is looking for you. Oh, he must have finished his daily dose of fun, sunflower seeds. Wish me luck. I have another order. Can I have a discount? Uh, sure. Why the fuck not? Okay, special orders must be completed in order to gain fame and ensure a good income from selling more bottles. If an order is beyond a player's abilities, it can be discarded for a small fame loss. One new order. Perfect. I will buy again. Okay, so... I think... Yeah, that should be fine. Go to technologies. Ooh, tool sh Oh, there we go. Ooh, I can make Chardonnay. Cleaning room, old crawler tractor. Winery. Ooh. Warehouse. What's this? Marketing. Hmm. We'll do that. Actually, now one new special order. Oh, here we go. Um, sell. And. OK, you can click on the vineyard to get more information about the health state, ripeness and get new cards like treatments. 
Your fame level affects wine-based price, number of orders received, type of special orders, and your ability to unlock new technologies. So, do this. Treatments. Um, go here. Don't have any problems with it, but we're going to do a downy mildew treatment. Want to keep those grapes that... Oh, I can buy some more grapes. And I... It doesn't look like I can actually change the type of grapes in this one. But that's fine. Two new special orders. Um, my, I'm not out of wine. Ah, he wants white grapes. Um, I don't have white grapes. I don't have white grapes. I have two special orders. Oh, there we go. Um, grab this and he'll buy all of it. Great. Still not entirely sure I know what that is or what it's for. I'm not buying any more upgrades for this thing until I know exactly what the hell I'm doing. Uh, yeah, she wants 26 bottles of wine. Fucking alcoholics. I mean, wonderful, wonderful customers. Advanced techniques need better buildings. Inside every building, you can upgrade them. Increasing the building level will increase also the space inside of the building. Um, oh, hello, Emma. I'm Carlo, the journalist. We spoke on the phone a few days ago, remember? Oh, yeah, sure. Hi, nice to meet you, and thank you for your interest in my adventures. Your endeavors are definitely worth my time and interest. Thank you for welcoming me to your vineyard. Winemakers tend to be extremely secretive and shy, so that's refreshing. Whoopsie, I didn't know that, but Gianni did tell me it wasn't the best idea for an interview to, to be interviewed so early in my career, if you want to call it that. Gianni is old school. It doesn't surprise me, but I am not interviewing you now. Today, I just want to browse around and take a few photos to get a general understanding of how you run the place. Are you happy with that? The photos will be featured in the article. Sure, Tio will give you a tour. That's great. Concerning your interview, if you're still up for it, I'll give you a ring and we can set a date. We can meet at Satoshi's. No one will bother us. I'd love that. See you soon. Let's go into the winery and upgrade this shit. Upgrade. Uh, looks like my board size goes up, but not this board size. Maybe it's the board size in there. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Uh, another special or okay, so that guy is good. Wine orders sell to you. Go back here. Go into the warehouse. Think about upgrading that as well. Uh, and I cannot upgrade at the same time, but let's look in the tool shed and talk about upgrading that too. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll move on. And seven new orders. Sweet Jesus. I don't know if I have enough wine for all of them. Build the shop to automatically. Technologies, warehouse, shop. Hmm. I don't know. Four new orders. Where do I see how much wine I have? So like when these people want bottles, like whatever next day all right so pruning hi emma glad you could make it are you ready for the interview of course are you going to record this do i have to say off the record if i want to add my personal comments or something should i get a lawyer emma calm down this is an interview for a local newspaper you're not on trial and no i'm not recording this i'm old school i rely on pen and paper the idea of entrusting an idea a machine with my notes is flabbergasting to me i want to smell the ink while i write feel the paper under my fingers Sure, until you accidentally misplace your notebook. Give me a ring in that case, and I'll teach you a thing or two about saving your data to the cloud. But what happens if it rains? I think I'll stick to my precious notebook, thanks. Anyway, let's get cracking, shall we? Sure, go ahead. Perfect, so... Um, we're supposed to prune in the winter, aren't we? Hey, look, it's 2023! Yay! Fucking Happy New Year! Okay, so let's rotate this. The amount of buds left on the vine will affect the quality, quantity, and grape ripeness. Every vine variety has its favorite pruning method. Okay. Ah, so how is it going with Gianni? 
I'm glad you asked because, mate, how on earth did you think we could work together? Ouch, he can be a bit blunt, I guess, but don't take it personally. Blunt, he's not blunt, just plain rude. I know that I need to get, I need him and his knowledge, but he is way out of line sometimes. I am so sorry. I can assure you that he is a good man. He is just used to mumbling on his own. You know how oenologists are, constantly stressed out and put under the pressure of getting perfect wine out there. I'm fine. I can take it. I just need to vent. Anyway, I'm so happy our one-to-one -one sessions are back on. I've missed your winemaking lectures. Aw, thank you. It's finally time to prune your vines. Uh oh, this is a level up for me. Indeed it is. Pruning is all about removing unwanted or unneeded parts of the grapevines. We prune in the winter and we leave it and we leave on the plants the necessary buds for the next year's production. So far, so good. Anything else I need to know about becoming Princess Pruner? Princess Pruner should know that vines can be trained with different styles of pruning techniques. Depending on the grape variety, certain pruning styles are more adequate than others. Okay, so remove the unwanted bits and leave the buds on. How many buds? How do I select those? Good question. In a nutshell, less buds, best, better quality of wine, more buds, more quantity of wine. It's always about quality versus quantity, isn't it? In this case, it definitely is. Okay, so... Number of buds very low. Let's do that. And that way we'll have super high quality wine, because I'd imagine you get more from making higher quality wine than you do from making a shit ton of shit wine. All right, I am out of wine. I have four new orders. Of course I do. But I am now completely out of wine. I'm almost entirely po positive. I have eight wine left and I am currently selling eight wine. So yeah, out of wine. Sales completed. You earned 90. All wine Barbera 2021 sold. Season end winter. Cool. Now, did these not? Ah, so I had to be able to put down the um, the upgrade at the right time. Got it. So we're going to put this here and we're going to put this here. I have no fucking idea what suckering is. But wait, suckering? Sucker. Suckering is a vital part of the vineyard maintenance as it redirects the vine's energy to the more important shoots. When crews sucker the vines, they essentially remove all the unnecessary shoots, resulting in fewer crust clusters of grape, but greater concentration of flavor in the remaining clusters. Okay. Hell yeah. And then... Yeah. There we go. I guess. Uh, one more. I can understand why it says 100 fucking days. All right, presses, cleaning, barrels, machines, cleaning, rooms. Okay, so clean the screw press machine and the other one. And in two turns, we should have clean equipment. Yes, yes, we do. Now, do we have to clean more stuff? No, but we can upgrade this to level two because now we have the space for it. Upgrade to level two. And yeah. Anyway, that's we're going to be where we call it. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to my patrons who talked to the old man into giving me this crap. I still don't quite understand it. And it's definitely not the um, game I was prepared to play, but it's quite enjoyable if you guys want to see more you got to let me know but otherwise i won't keep you any longer thank you very much for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one